five for a championship. So this is a big five point match and it would be a, a swing for either country. Thomas Gilman, his hands are hard, heavy. He wasted no time. Quick snap down, jumps on to the head. And he's really developed in the last two and a half years a great little outside swing single that he uses a lot more in matches. Sets it up with good snaps and elbow passes. Sarlacc has done a great job throughout this tournament of keeping matches close and finding a way to win matches at the end. Gilman right into the face of Sorlak to begin this with those heavy hands. Trying to set his style early, 30 seconds in. Again, snap, snap. Gilman just continuously rips at the opponent. I love that Gilman is not afraid to be the heel either. He's not afraid to be the bad guy. Good job there by Sorlak to reposition. Ear to ear, the two wrestlers engaged. Gold medal of 57. Hard head pull by Gilman, then he's working to the inside with his offside hand. First passivity warning on Sarlacc. Nice under, over, and looking to go around by Gilman. The training just to stay on the mat. I went back and watched some old 1996 and matches before the step out, and people just used to go out of bounds. So the fact that they learn how to work that edge and keep, skate the edge and not go out of bounds, their first activity period here as Sarlacc gets his second passivity warning. And Gilman really has been the more offensive wrestler, digging in that left-handed hook. 30-second activity clock. Gilman with a chance maybe to go up one early. Certainly has been the initiator through the first half of this opening period. And the referee will jump in and stop the action. 11 seconds to go on the activity clock. Gilman of the United States, a world silver medalist in 2017. Looking for his first world title just two months after that bronze medal performance where he battled back through the repechage. Inside a minute to go, Gilman with the passivity point, one nothing. Now a low shot in on the leg, has the left leg of the Iranian near the edge, tripod position, Gilman steadies, switches to the two, has the ankle, let's see what Sarlacc does here. Gilman trying to drag him back in, gets the two before the edge. Textbook by Gilman. And he set up that attack with Hammers on the head, he came to the head, head pull, head pull, head pull. Sarlacc was expecting him to go to the head pull again. He slipped his right arm down and went to his single. A great setup. It wasn't the initial setup right before the hold, it was the setups well before as the match has, has progressed. Three to zero lead for Gilman. We're here just less than 20 seconds to go in the period. often hear wrestling being called a live chess match. It's those things, the moves before the attack that make such a big deal. Gilman was able to do that in that first period. Thomas Gilman heads to the corner, leading 3-0 over Ali Reza Sarlacc. No real surprises after three minutes. You knew Gilman was gonna come out, he's gonna be setting those heavy hands. He's gonna make it a rugged bout. You're gonna feel him. And he set the tone, I thought, early. He sure did, but what we also know about Ali Reza Sarlacc is that he is not afraid to keep it close and to come back in the second period. So the same pace is gonna to need to happen here for Thomas Gilman. And Sarlacc saying he's wet, he's sweaty, I want him to be wiped off. Sarlacc, all sorts of momentum coming into tonight's final. The Asian silver medalist this year, part of the Continental Championship for Iran. That was after two near misses at the Asian Championships. He has put everything together over the last eight months and now trying to add a world title. Down three in the second period. 
Trying to drive in an underhook on the right side of the body of Gilman. Gilman steers it away. Sarlacc tries a second time. Sarlacc using that left hand underhook really well and right now trying to lobby the official for some calls. Gilman already, they already warned him for grabbing the single at once, but just that staying with the offense for Thomas Gilman's big, even if he doesn't get the shot, just looking like he's attacking. And that was a nice little swing single with his right hand that he just attacked onto Sarlacc's leg. Both holding very good position. Both of these wrestlers hand fight and attack chest to chest. So it's, it's, it's not a big difference in styles. They're both very physical with their snaps and their head pulls. Gilman shoots in low. Trying to secure the leg. Had it elevated for a moment. Still driving in on the leg. Can Gilman pick up his second takedown of this gold medal match? Leg up in the air, near the edge. Sorlak hopping. Sarlacc using that whizzer with his right arm so well. Using it as a lever. Doesn't want to go out of bounds. Gilman twists and gets the two near the edge. And a 5-0 lead. A little bit of cushion for the American. Still tons of time, though. But what a great job by Gilman working Sarlacc to the edge. Sarlacc didn't want to step out, so he put his weight moving forward. And Gilman able to run that pipe and pull him down to his hindquarters for a two-point takedown. The Council Bluffs Iowa native out to a 5-0 lead. One minute to go in the second and final period. Sarlacc is going to begin his sprint here with just under a minute to go. Down five, he's going to need some, some action. As his coach is saying, please, action, action. Gilman not afraid to continue to hold on here. Beautiful duck under by Sarlacc as Gilman was reaching up to the head. Sarlacc able to peek out, get that duck under for two points with 30 seconds to go here. Locking up high, trying to get a turn, now into a stand-up, trying to thrust Gilman over. Gilman bridging and bracing tight underneath, and he fins off the Iranian's chance from Parterre. And the official called a caution in one. It was not, it was white paddled by both officials for negative wrestling down below. So three point lead for Gilman. The Ten United States looking for their second gold medal. Big push by Sarlacc, and a step out with six seconds remaining. 5-3, Gilman, can he hang on for the U.S.? Circles back into the center, shoots, and the United States has won gold for the first time. Thomas Gilman, your gold medal winner at 57 kilos. And that's about as much emotion with a smile as you're gonna see from Thomas Gilman. Big old flex right now, excited to be that uh, world champion and bring that back to the United States. 